Bernie Sanders was at an event in Nevada. I believe he was in Vegas. And um, he decided to take the gloves off and go after Michael Bloomberg. And let me also say a word about the current campaign and say to you that regardless of how much money a multi-billionaire candidate is willing to spend on his election, we will not create the energy and excitement we need to defeat Donald Trump if that candidate pursued, advocated for, and enacted racist policies like stop and frisk, which cause communities of color in his city to live in fear. We will not defeat Donald Trump with a candidate who in 2015 stated, and I quote, I, for example, am not in favor, have never been in favor of raising the minimum wage. We will not defeat Donald Trump with a candidate who opposed modest proposals during Barack Obama's presidency to raise taxes on the wealthy while advocating for cuts to Medicare and Social Security. We will not defeat Donald Trump with a candidate who, instead of holding the crooks on Wall Street accountable, blamed the end of racist policies such as redlining for the financial crisis. The simple truth is that Mayor Bloomberg, with all his money, will not create the kind of excitement and energy we need to have the voter turnout we must have to defeat Donald Trump. See, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Now, compare that with the attack that Michael Bloomberg just did on Bernie, where all Michael Bloomberg does is show mean tweets from Bernie supporters. Wow, what a strong attack. So nothing against Bernie, nothing against his record, because Michael Bloomberg would get shredded in that debate. So he says, yeah, but you're... Your supporters are, like, mean and stuff, bro. Who cares? They're trying to get people health care. They're trying to end wars. This is all more important than your feelings. I don't care how triggered you are, you special little snowflake. But what does Bernie do? This guy supported stop and frisk. Attacks him on that. Bernie's correct. It's been ruled unconstitutional. Even apart from it being unconstitutional, it didn't work. 99.9% .9 of the time, they didn't stop criminals. Only .01 or something like that percent of the convictions were of violent crimes. So just utter failure of a program. He opposed the minimum wage increase. He actually blocked it as a New York City mayor, although he's talking about a clip after that in 2015 when he spoke about um, being against the minimum wage. He said, it, you know, Bloomberg is against raising taxes on the rich. Hmm, I wonder why. Um, he advocated for cutting Social Security and Medicare. He blamed the 2008 subprime mortgage crisis and Great Recession on redlining, which is the... Um, Basically, the systematic blocking of people of color from living in, like, majority white districts. That's what that is. It's saying, hey, there's a side of the town for people of color, and there's a side of the town for white people. And the fact that we ended redlining, allowing people to live wherever they want, uh, that led to the subprime mortgage crisis and the Great Recession. This is, um, you know... It's a very silly argument, and it really does take responsibility away from the crooks on Wall Street, as Bernie Sanders accurately pointed out. So, all the attacks here are substantive. All of them are substantive. We got a lot more, too, man. We've spoken about them on this show. Another one is he was advocating for raising taxes on the poor because he says the poor have bad habits, and we need to disincentivize those bad habits, so take more of their money from them. Uh, spying on Muslims, again, the list goes on and on. This guy is, um, you know, he's terrible. Michael Bloomberg is terrible, but notice the difference. Bernie's attacks are substantive. Michael Bloomberg's attacks are incredibly silly, petty, and focused on not Bernie, but his supporters. So, the, the very clarifying moment in this race, and Michael Bloomberg can try all he wants to buy this race, but we're going to do everything we can in our power to prevent this corrupt oligarch from being the nominee.